said you had musical inspiration from your family. Let them know, you know, go back over that thing and let them know yeah. how, how that started. Yeah, my granddad, he's a professional pianist, so he been teaching me instruments like his whole life. He made me pick an instrument when I was like seven or eight. So, you know, I played the saxophone, and then he taught me piano. And then I was in the band throughout middle school and high school. And I was in the marching band in high school. I was the uh, snare drum, and I did drum set one year. So, you know what I'm saying? I've been doing it my whole life. So, how many instruments do you play? Mm, I play saxophone just a little bit, but just piano and percussion, you know, xylophone, marimba, all that. I have a big influence on your creation on the beach. Definitely, definitely with the drums. Definitely with yeah, the drums. definitely. Okay. So, how long you been doing the beats? I know you've been playing the instruments for a while, but how long you been input, like, doing beat production? I've been making beats since, like, the 10th grade, so that's about seven, seven years now. I'm saying it's been a minute. What would you think would be like the the peak part of your? I probably wouldn't even say peak ever worked. But say you say you started getting recognition for your beat. Like was it meeting? You know, I don't know how you linked up with QC or was there a particular time that made you want to start taking it more seriously? Like like an awakening where you was like, that hey, people really respecting what I do." Definitely. When I linked up with Mako, we started working, and then he got signed over here at QC. And then I just came here with Mako and we, we made a couple records over here. And then I just started working with everybody in QC. Yeah, and yeah, definitely. With Mako and with her. So how'd that, how did that relationship build with you and OG Mako? Man, we just met through some mutual friends. You know what I'm saying? We just making music. And then he heard my stuff and he told me to come to the crib. And then me, him, and Key, we were just all over the crib. And then they was working on that Give Him Hell EP. And then, you know what I'm saying? We just kept working. Oh, that was yeah. So it's like, y'all, what's y'all chemistry like? I mean, Matt came shit crazy. We got some crazy ones on the album, Children of the Rage. Mm -hmm. It's coming out soon, so. Yeah. So we were just talking off camera. We were just talking about some of your recent stuff. You did. You said you got some production on that new Wire and Two with Amigo. Yeah, definitely. I got that Commando on there, that Wire and Two. Me and Lucci working on that Wish Me Well too. Got some bangers on there. Me and Cinco working on that Cinco too. You already know. We got some stuff with Guapo. We made some stuff last night. Everybody in QC, Skip. It's ain't Rich, me and Rich got a whole bunch of stuff coming. So, you know what I'm saying? You working with anybody outside of QC? Yeah, definitely. I definitely been working hard with Lucci. Uh, working with a dude named Jordan Hollywood. He's an up and coming artist. We got some crazy stuff coming. You know what I'm saying? My, I got some homies that I've been making music with forever. MacNell, GQ, all them. They got some crazy stuff coming. So, you know what I'm saying? We just been working. So, what made you want to start making the beats? Yeah. My homie gave me FL one day in 10th grade on a flash drive. And I was like, he was just like, shit, we both in band and shit, let's just try it out. And then we started making beats, man. I've been doing it ever since. What's your, what's your, your vision for your beat creation, for your, your beat process? Is there any particular goal you have set or right now you just working and seeing where it heads? Man, I don't know. I definitely want to change music, you know what I'm saying? Put my own sound into it, my own creation. I really like creating new sounds. Like, I feel like me and Cinco with the Understand Me record, I feel like we, we kind of like changed the game a little bit. You know what I'm saying? We brought like a real R&B trap sound in. So, you know what I'm saying? Just keep making new waves, new sounds. So you said you just made like Cinco, you know, you made like a R&B trap sound. You know, sometimes a lot of producers I deal with, they get a light shine on them just for, you know, they work with a lot of street rappers, but they also do a lot of different genre beats outside of that. You do like, what other kind of beats do you do? Uh, right now I'm working on an EDM project with my homie Dico. You know what I'm saying? He did that one time for the Migos, and then we just been, been making a lot of EDM, and a lot of, you know what I'm saying, just different type of music, like just good music to listen to. Like, it's gonna be real crazy, yeah. Just cooking these edition, like I said, we got, we, we in depth with you today, so you're gonna cook up exclusive folks. You already know, let's get it.